Today's theme, Max, would you like to guess? Only Zion Males. Who? Only Zion Males. Oh, only Zion Males. No Lynn today, it's just us. Ready for your theme? What's up, everybody? <laughs> yes, let's see it. Ready? You know what that is? Looks like steak. It's pork. Steak? Oh. You want to start again? Oh, well, that, there you go. On the there other side, it looked more red. <laughs> oh, I got you. Okay, it's pork. That's not the theme. What is it? The theme is curry. It's curry week. What? But I've got pork. What am I doing this? We're going to make just the most amazing pork, grilled curried pork sandwich. Wait till you taste this thing. Sounds good to me. It's ridiculous. Okay. So uh, we'll call this cooking school. And the Lifecast cooking school is short to the point. Not that the other stuff's not important. But we want you to learn this and we're going to start. Grill pan. If you don't have one of these, I think you should get them. Because if, if, the, if there's inclement weather outside, it'll work in here. Almost anything cooked in a grill pan with these ridges looks amazing. A grilled cheese in this blows away a regular grilled cheese. So we start simply, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. We start simply by, and now this is, is room temperature, okay? It's been out of the fridge about a half an hour now. So a little, a little olive oil on this. Leave the fat. The fat's fine. It's going to be okay. Sorry. And then kosher salt and pepper, both sides. Well, it's a decent thickness, so it needs a fair bit of seasoning on this thing. Right? And then we're just going to go right into our pan. Here we go. Ready? And I put it on an angle so that it will get the, you'll see what we're going to do. You sizzling. want the grill marks on there. I want grill marks, but also you want to hear the sizzling. If you throw something in the pan like that and there's nothing, then you've got, you've got problems. Okay, quick wash of the hands. We have a couple things we need to make. I need some honey. Oh, I know where my honey is. Look at this, beautiful. Oh, that's honey. cool. Look how nice. It's got a little some honeycomb inside. Can you see that? If I put it like that, just go down even with it and take a look. It's amazing. Uh oh. Wow. Is that pretty? Oh yeah. That's it. Uh, this I need. Part of me will I get some stuff out. I need a, a decent amount of cilantro, which I've just been in Mexico recently, so I can say cilantro. <laughs> Suddenly I'm Jada de Laurentiis. When you were in San Miguel de Allende. San Miguel de Allende. Mm -hmm. I like how you do the deep, like, <laughs> <laughs> announcer voice. That's what I do. All right. So here's what this is. This is sort of like equal parts of Dijon. Boop. Oh. Equal parts of Dijon and honey. Wow. Nice, huh? Beautiful. This guy's doing all right. The government lowered their t cooking temperature their doneness temperature for pork, it used to be 165 degrees. Now, it's 145 degrees. And that was a good thing because people were drying out pork all over the place. Okay, so honey, Dijon mustard, a cilantro. Excuse me while I cut some. I don't really need quite this much. Whoa, what was that? Oh, a knife just fell off the block. Okay, so a little boom of this in here. And now, what makes this the wheat that it is? Curry powder. Mmm. I'll use this. It's about... Hey, look, you can go to the cookingguy.com, click on the recipe section, and uh, look up uh, pork and this little sandwich burger thing-ish will come up. So now we just mix. Wow, that looks so unbelievably good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's the, the honey and the curry really do nice things together in the Dijon. 
Mm. Okay. Let's check this out. Because this is probably ready to at least do this. So nice, right? Wow. And it's this way. So now we're going to go this way. And we're going to make those pretty little marks on there. I want to put some of this uh, Dijon deal on here, but not until I flip it. In the meantime, I'm going to add another component, coleslaw. And this is this bag coleslaw that's easy to buy, easier to make, and it's fabulous. Look, if you've got a good processor or you've got great knife skills and you want to chop up a whole bunch of everything, then be my guest, ladies and gentlemen. Go to town on carrots and cabbage and whatever else is going to go in here. But I just buy this easy one with this little mix. It just goes like this. Yes. And to all you coleslaw purists out there, yeah. we know you can make unbelievable coleslaw right but this whole thing's going together in no time start to finish and and I think that's you know that's one of the beauties of of watching this show is we do things that are simple and easy mm -mm. okay this is done and you know what it's quite It's crunchy, it's a little sweet, it's got a little vinegar thing going on, it's great. So come, see where we are in the cooking thing here? Mm -hmm. It's about, you can see, it's about halfway. So this guy's good. We turn him over. As though that's a good way to measure it. Ah, it's a, not a bad way to measure it, yeah. I mean look, so you've got that, right? So now I'm just gonna take a little bit of this just let them start to flavor a little bit here. The honey sweet, if you put sweet stuff on too early when you're grilling stuff, the sweetness is gonna burn and you don't want that. So now that we've got this side over, we got this, we're perfect. It's the perfect time to do this. I've got uh, my flat griddle on right here for, if you go that way for one sec, let me show you. Sorry, we shot some Bed Bath Beyond stuff earlier, and I got to clean out the area there, so I moved stuff mm -hmm. my dining room table. I bought two buns today. I didn't know which one I was going to like. Let's decide. I now know. I now have a sense. So I got this round one. It would be good. But I also have this boletas that looks like it's perfect size, doesn't it? Yeah. That's where I'm going with. All right. This is finishing up. It's not going to take very long. It's going to be super delicious. Probably the perfect time to do a little read for one of our friends. I was going to say, who should we talk about? Perch. Perch. I have a class tonight at Perch. I don't have any new classes on the website. Ah, but the Sam's Taste Tour that I do with Anheuser-Busch, we have a date coming up at Perch. Per, theperch.com for all things kitchen, bath, and outdoor. Just remember this. If you go sign up for stuff on their website, follow them on Facebook or on, uh, on uh, uh, what's the, the Twitter, Twitter. Uh, you'll be apprised of things that are going on there. And there's all kinds of stuff all the time. Yes, they're amazing for kitchens. Yes, they're amazing for baths and outdoor stuff. But... They're also a great community partner to all kinds of places, and they do the amazing things in store. All kinds of free cooking classes, stuff like that. Mine don't happen to be free, but occasionally they are, and I'm there on a weekend or something. But the only way you find out is if you follow them. Theperch.com or on the Facebook, they'll be there. Follow them. You'll be glad to know the cool things that are coming up. Okay, when we come back, this is finishing. This is finishing. We put it together, and then we eat. San Miguel de Allende. Don't go away. Here we are. This is almost ready and beautiful and gorgeous. You can see the bottom side. Let me show you. I gave it a little flip. 
Same beautiful. Oh, uh oh. Well, hold on. Let's take advantage of that. We'll just put a little bit of this one here. And then flip it back. Is that what you're doing? Yeah, I'll just let that, that stuff just burn in a second. Okay, that's fantastic. Okay, these guys, hot grill, you can see the color's coming up here pretty quick. Step back, sunny boy. Mayo, 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 mayo. Uh, what am I doing? Where's my... Do you ever go to the whip? I don't. Why don't you? It's like, it's a lot like QP. I mean, if you're going to have yeah. a mayonnaise, here's what I say. Mayonnaise is basically just fat. So if you're going to use just fat, then use just fat that's got some flavor to it. And trust me, this has got some flavor to it. So watch. We're going to do this on the bottom. And then we're going to do some more of this. Wow. I don't think in a sandwich you can have too much sauce. I really don't. I mean, I think it adds moisture and real, like, deliciousness. Oh, yeah. Okay? So now the pork loin, boneless pork loin burger, I mean, uh, chop comes off and goes on this way. Oh, baby! What are you talking about? Oh, I'm talking about how good this is going to be. And now ready this. Wow. And now ready this. How are you going to get a picture here, Max? Should I cut it in half? Yeah. And then a lid. Okay, is it insignificant? No. Is it going to be amazing? Yes. So now we cut this guy open right here. Uh oh. Wow. Wow. And I'm telling you, this is going to be crazy delicious. Okay. Look, look at this juicy pork. Look at that. Unbelievable. Right Do you see that? So juicy. And a bite, we'll reveal this. And curry. Dijon. Mmm. That little salt and the honey in there makes the whole thing fantastic. Okay, it's simple. A half a dozen ingredients and your way to the races with something this good? Why not? All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's the Sam Livecast. A shortened version cooking school, but uh, make this for yourself. And as we always like to say, don't eat shitty food. See you Wednesday when Curry Week will continue. Bye.